How's it going everyone, it's me, Vivi, and welcome back to some Sly Cooper. Why didn't Sly Cooper meet his father? And what if he did? This is an interesting question many of you viewers tend to bring up when I talk about time travel within the Sly universe. Sly Cooper met five of his ancestors in Thieves in Time. So if the gang could time travel, then that means Sly could have found a way to meet his father. How time travel worked in Sly 4, technical wise, at least for Bentley's version, their van relied on an item that would originate from said timeline. Which I found to be a cool idea, you know, kind of step away from that traditional just a typical time machine, right? I made a recent video trying to better explain how time travel in Thieves in Time was simplified. In fact, lead designer Matt Kramer on Sly Cooper Thieves in Time even said during episode 508 of Gamerland Podcast that the team wanted to simplify its story and make it interesting when it comes to time travel, and that's honestly what I understood when playing Thieves in Time. Speaking of Matt Kramer, regarding the topic of Sly's father or why Sly didn't meet him? On the same exact episode, by the way we had Kevin Miller as always the voice of Sly, we had Kaylee Roberts, producer from Sony, on Sly Cooper back then, on said episode. Let me play the exact segment where this is mentioned, and all I have to say is, I don't fully agree with what Kramer said regarding Sly meeting his father. Those things that happened to those characters, those things that made them who they are, are who they are, and we didn't want to change them. And, and I always bring up Batman, because ah, you know, ah. Sly Cooper, to me, is, is, is a lot like Batman. Sure, yeah. Sure. Um, you know, if Batman went back in time and, and he stopped the things that happened with the Joker, Batman wouldn't be Batman. Right. He'd be and, George Clooney. Clooney. Yeah, I, I, and, we did, and we didn't want to ruin that. We didn't want to cross that and, and ruin the character. I mean, he, he wouldn't be who he was. Sly Cooper to me is a lot like Batman. You know, if Batman went back in time and he stopped the things that happened with the Joker, Batman wouldn't be Batman. We didn't want to ruin that. We didn't want to cross that and ruin the character. I mean, he wouldn't be who he was. First thing I'd like to get out of his statement. Sanzaru thought of the grandfather paradox. At least this makes it clearer. And if you're not familiar with that term, it basically means when you time travel to the past and affect it, you will affect the future. It's arguable, especially if you've watched my previous video on the time travel of Sly 4. So for those who newly stumbled upon this video, I want to replay a certain part of Sly 4, which basically reveals that yes, Senzaru thought of the grandfather paradox in a way. Stealing Sinbad's treasure would cause anomalies. That's what Bentley said. Let me play the clip. Why, that priceless treasure is Sinbad's legendary goblin. <clears throat> History tells us it was recovered by your ancestor, Henrietta One-Eye Cooper, the famous female pirate, but not until the year 1616. Taking it now could cause any number of anomalies to the time continuum and the Cooper timeline. You might even prevent yourself from becoming a thief! <laughs> point taken. Although Senzaru wanted to simplify time travel, they believed that Sly meeting his father would cause Sly to pretty much lose his identity. I agree, and I don't agree. The way Kramer worded his statement, he thought that Sly meeting his father would destroy his legacy completely. Yes, it is possible if you write the story that way. I mean, in Sly 4, you have the gang meeting Sly's ancestors. His father counts as an ancestor, technically. If you write the story in a way where undoubtedly Sly would cause his legacy to crumble, then yeah, Sly meeting his father will affect his life. Sly stopping the death of his parents, for example, would cause Sly to never meet Murray and Bentley at the orphanage in the first place. Sly would still have his parents and grew up with them, basically affecting his presence in the present timeline, changing his entire life. The way they simplified time travel, there is only one timeline, 
only one continuum. Affecting the past, to a great extent, would cause anomalies in the present. So yep, I disagree with this statement because Matt Kramer only imagined one scenario. What if Sly met his father, but didn't actually interact with him? That's another scenario for example. Is it gonna affect Sly's life in the present? Not really. It could have butterfly effects, but it's not gonna go to that extreme. Imagine him ending up in that timeline and just sees his younger self through the window. He sees a shadowy figure through the curtain, and who would it be? One of his parents, his father. At that moment, I'd imagine Sly's knees going weak. He goes in a complete state of shock, like no way, that's actually my father. My father and mother, who got murdered right in front of my eyes. Would the story have Sly interact with his father? Sly would perhaps try and approach him, either A, saying it's me. Basically his emotions taking over his sense of self, any sense of rationality goes out the window. Emotion is a fickle beast, keep that in mind. Or B, Sly controls his emotions and keeps his rationality in check. Which one would it be? In this scenario we imagine Bentley or Murray, well they're not present. Sly is the only one thinking, right now. If none of these options, then imagine these two accidentally crossing paths with one another. A. Sly still says it's me because you know his emotions are taking over his mind. Again, imagine Sly lost contact with Bentley or Murray for some reason. B. They just stare at each other. Sly goes speechless and they part ways. Nothing happens. At this moment, Sly realizes that revealing himself to his father could cause problems. <laughs> So although Murray and Bentley are not in the equation, Sly still decides to act cautiously. Another scenario for Connor Cooper. Yes, that is the official name of Sly Cooper's father, as of 2010 at least, according to the Sly Cooper Collection, the official strategy guide. As I was saying, Sly Cooper and Connor Cooper end up helping each other out. While Sly keeps his identity intact, let's imagine that scenario. However, if he does that, there is a problem. Sly's cane. That's his father's cane he's holding. If Sly's cane must remain hidden, then how will he perform his basic moves? What I'd imagine, Sly manages to help out Connor, but then eventually, Connor discovers Sly's cane, either accidentally or intentionally. And Connor, naturally he's gonna get suspicious. Heck, if Connor were to see Sly's moves alone, Without the cane even, Connor would still get suspicious of Sly and say, just who are you? And why are you helping me? How would Sly react in this situation? A. Sly invents a story in order to lower his suspicion. B. Sly tells him the truth and then leaves in order to avoid Connor to ask even more questions. C. Sly feels he should tell the truth the moment him and the gang at this point we imagine the gang and Sly met up, you know when they're leaving for the present, Sly feels like that's the perfect moment to just tell him the truth. Option C, I believe would be the most heart crushing moment. As Sly leaves, he says goodbye to his dad, imagine from a distance. The last word out of his mouth is thanks, well two words technically, thanks dad, and Sly sheds a tear. And while Sly is leaving, from a distance, camera zooms in, we see Connor's face, pure shock, connecting all the dots, and he realizes that he actually met a future version of his son. He gets proud and him too gets all emotional. Out of everything I just said, ultimately, if Bentley is not communicating with Sly, with the Binocucom for example, Sly might enter a moment of weakness and risk the timeline. Like I said before, emotions are unpredictable. Bentley or even Murray, they would be Sly's conscious. 
Without exterior help and moral guidance, Sly could lose himself and risk his legacy. And at the end of the day, some people might prefer Sly's father's identity to be kept a secret. His face was never shown in the series. Let's not forget about that. Well, technically, in Sly 4, we do have this scene. Paradox's father, his past, being framed for that diamond heist. Well, look, this is 2D cartoon. So I'll take that as not his actual face. Alright, look, all of these different scenarios are cool and all, but we cannot avoid this one specific question. When or where in the timeline would Sly Cooper meet his father Connor Cooper? Would Sly A. Meet Connor while he's still actively going through heists? And while at it, make us discover greater truths. For example, Dr. M despising Connor Cooper for some reason, that line we had in Sly 3. We don't exactly know what happened between these two, so Sly traveling to the past during his father's time, maybe we might discover what actually happened. Why he wasn't such a good friend. Sly might even get shocked by what his father did. Look, we just really don't know what happened. Or B, Sly meets his father while he's retired. According to Mick Sweeney, who was the muscle of their group back then, this is according to comic issue number two. When Sly was born, the team lay low in order to cool things down. Whatever happened, they wanted to lay low. At least we'd like to assume that Connor retired at some point after Sly was born. The point I'm trying to make is, if Connor were to realize who was helping him this whole time, Sly helping his father for whatever reason, whatever it may be, if Sly was already born in that timeline, for example his mother looking after him at home, Connor would have an even greater reaction when it comes to realize that the person he's been getting help from is his son from the future. I felt like this was an important question to bring up. So yes, although Matt Kramer feels like Sly is Batman, Sly doesn't have to be. It really depends on how they tackle the story. Sly meeting his father doesn't have to be about Sly messing up his legacy. If anything, us meeting Sly's father, maybe we might discover greater truths or something. Sort of a twist, something we had no idea about his parents. Maybe that had something to do with the night of the attack. You know, make it interesting. So with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, your own scenarios, feel free to share it all in the comments section below. And as always, I've been Vivi, and thank you so much for watching.